I've gone and imported the planet Saturn, the moon, and then my robot that will be blowing up the bad guy we just went over the tutorial with. And in each instance, I've right-clicked on it in the Project tab, and I've chosen Interpret Footage Main, and I've changed the loop to 50. Now I'm ready to put this content on screen. So I'll grab Saturn. I'm going to W to rotate it, and I'm just going to tip it a bit. And I'm going to grab the moon, and I'll drag the moon, put it up in the right-hand corner. And I'm going to scale this down. So I'll hit S on the keyboard, and I'll drop the scale down to about 60%, perhaps. This is kind of subjective, so you can really kind of scale that the way you want. One last thing we're going to do is make sure that our composition is set for 30 seconds. I'll go to Composition, Composition Settings, and I'm going to choose 30 seconds for duration, and click OK. Now that I've introduced my planets, I'm going to put my character in. And as I did with the planets, I right-click on the character in the Project tab, go to Interpret Footage Main, and set the loop to the amount I want. I'm going to drag that onto screen now, and I want it to initially go from the left-hand side of the screen to the right, and I want it to be much smaller because it's going to be appearing to be flying across our field of vision, very small. So I'll hit S on the keyboard, and I'll drop the scale down to about 40%, and I want to flip it over so it's pointing in the other direction. So I'll unlock the aspect ratio, and I'll put a minus sign in front of the x-axis, and now it's flipped over. I'm going to lock it down again. Now I'm going to put my character off screen on the left-hand side. Now we're going to be animating over our position. So I'm going to hit P for position, and I want this animation to begin at 2 seconds. So I'll punch in 200, and I'll drag the beginning of my animation layer to that point in time. I'm going to set my first keyframe for position at 2 seconds, and I want him to be on screen for 10 seconds. So I'm going to advance to 12 seconds in the timeline and then drag the character across and off screen on the other side. I'm going to cut it there so I can visually keep track of the three different times we're going to animate this character on screen. I'll hold down the option and I'll hit the close bracket. Now I want a one second duration between when it goes off screen and reappears again. So I'm going to set my playback ahead at 1300 and I'm going to grab another copy from the project tab and drop it on screen and I'll put it off to the left. Now it's going to scale across the screen from right to left. So I want the clip to begin there so I'll drag it and hold the shift key and snap it and I will hit P for position with that layer selected. I'll drop the first keyframe. And this is going to be a shorter duration, so we're going to go 5 seconds now. So 1300 plus the 5 is 1800. And now I'll drag my character off and through the other side. Now I want him to be smaller because we're going to have him come to rest one more time coming from the left hand side of our screen. I want it to appear as if he's been moving progressively towards us, and if he were, he'd be getting larger. So I'm just going to drag my playback head so I see him on screen, and I'm going to hit S on the keyboard, and I'm going to drop the scale down, and I think I'll drop it down to about 70%. This is all very subjective. As long as you're going progressively from small to large, uh, you'll be fine. Now I want to cut it there because the animation ends for that five second sequence or that iteration, I'm holding down the option, I'm hitting the close bracket again. So we've got our character going across the screen, two different directions, two different scales. Now he's going to come in on screen over a period of three seconds now, and once again I want a one second delay between when the previous iteration goes off screen and then the new one appears. Make sure I got my position correct. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put my playback head one second beyond the 1800, which would make it 1900. And at 1900, I'll put another copy of my character on screen. Now, because he's going to be 
coming from the left. Once again, I want to flip it over. I'm going to put him, though, first at 1900. And then I'm going to hit S for scale. And I'm going to unlock the aspect ratio chain link. And I'll put a minus in front of the 100%. And then I will lock it down. I'm going to drag it off screen to the left. Now I'm going to move three seconds in time to 2100. And I'm going to drag my character onto screen so he's just in off. I'm going to set my first key frame at 1900 for position. Now I'm going to move three seconds in time to 2100 and I'm going to drag him onto screen. I'm now going to introduce the character that is his adversary. So I'm going to drag the bad bot onto screen. Now he's going to come on at 19 seconds as well so that they're confronting each other at the same time. So I'll put my playback head back at 19 seconds and I will begin the bad bot there as well. I'm going to drag him off screen to the right and I'm going to hit my scale button and I'm going to flip him on his x-axis as well. I'm now going to hit P for position and drop the first T frame for position at 19. I'm going to advance to the same point in time as the robot on the left arrives which is 21 seconds and then I will drag the bad butt like so. So now both of my characters, I've dragged the bad robot on, now both of them are on screen.